Okay, so we've got a lot of work to do. It seems everything's been done already, but no one has really gotten it right. For good reason. They've never hired real zombies as writers before. I know. And they're finally recognizing the need for authenticity. And diversity. I think that's a law now. Not unless you're a gay zombie. Or even better, a trans zombie. Actually, in effect, I think all zombies are trans. That would be transition between human and zombie. So it doesn't count. But it will one day. We can only hope. Ah, uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. The studio wants a zombie movie written by real zombies. So here we are. Here we are. So, any ideas? Will there be snacks? In the movie? <laughs> of course there'll be snacks. It's a zombie movie. I mean here, in the writer's room. Aren't there always snacks in a writer's room? So shouldn't there be for us? I mean equality and all. Yeah, I think they call it craft service in the business. But it won't be what human writers eat, will it? I mean, we don't eat that. You don't actually mean will our human employers provide a lie? <gasps> Are there cameras here? Let's leave that question for lunch. So do we get to eat in the commissary? And if so, are they prepared to serve us? Stop already! We're here to talk story, not dietary needs or restrictions. But isn't that at the heart of any zombie story? Yeah, fair question. Jesus. Okay, I think we need to take five. But we just started five minutes ago. I'm not getting paid enough for this. You're all getting paid for this? Are you getting paid for this? I'm not getting paid for this. Your agent let you do that? Agent? You guys have agents? How did you all get an agent? Jesus. <laughs> of course there'll be snacks. It's a zombie movie.